As with all your data stored on a computer, it's very important you make regular backups of your data. It could be your computer crashes or it could be you've accidentally deleted some songs or files from your computer and you want to restore them. So in Power Music, we can make a backup of all the music in Power Music, whether it be sheet music, chord sheets, lyrics, tags and all the information as well as all the playlists that you've saved. So how do you make a backup? You close down the All Song screen, you go to File, you choose Backup. I'll come back and talk about tidying the Sheet Music Library in a minute, but let's say begin the backup. You browse to where you want to put the backup, so I'll put it into my documents here and say OK. What happens is the backup is created with an automatic file name which is given today's date and time so you can see exactly when that backup was created. OK, the backup has been created and if we go and look at our documents we'll see here that there's the backup sitting there. The backup appears as a folder but really there's nothing inside that folder you can do anything with so you just keep it as a single folder and that's your backup. It's a good idea to take your backup off the computer and maybe write it to a CD drive or a DVD drive or put it in a USB pen or copy it onto a share on your network to keep it safe just in case your computer crashes and you would lose it. How do you restore a backup? Go to File, go to Restore. Remember that if you restore a backup, you overwrite everything that's in Power Music at the moment, so you only restore a backup if you're sure that you want to overwrite any existing songs, playlists, or any other information you have in Power Music. We browse to where it is. Again, we've got another warning because it's quite important you don't overwrite your data. Browse to where we put it. And there it's there. OK. And this is, do you want to continue? Yes. And the process happens in reverse, where we recover all the data from the backup and put it back in. And there we have it back. All the information, whether it be sheet music, chord sheets, tags, lyrics. I said I would talk a bit about tidying up the sheet music library. One of the things that can happen is that when you delete songs, the graphics files are left behind. So. For this example, I'm going to delete this song here. If I right click on it and say delete the song. OK, so that song has been deleted from here. However, the graphics files for the music are still on the computer. And if you delete a lot of songs over time, they're taking up some space in your computer. So it's a good idea to do a tidy up every so often. So let's again close down our All Songs screen here. So what we do is we go to File. We go to Sheet Music Library Management. And what we've got in here now is a list of all of the unused pieces of music. Now, you can see that I've been doing a lot of deleting of things here. So I've got um, about 125 megabytes of unused files, uh, 586 of them. So I can select all of these and I can just delete them and that would save space on the computer. If we click on the Use tab, these are the ones that are actually currently in use and you can see there on our computer. So tidying up the database is a good idea. Delete them. So I'll we'll just click on delete. I'm sure I want to delete them. Yes. And that's it tidied up. Now I've just recovered 125 megabytes of space from my hard drive. As I said, it's probably a good idea to do a tidy up of your sheet music library before you do the backup because there's no point in backing up music which you're no longer using.